I think the core message is that we've had it for several decades now, we've had an era of communicative language teaching. And sometimes that gets interpreted as setting up speaking activities in the classroom. And that's very nice because you have people, students speaking to each other in the classroom. But it's not necessarily the same as teaching the skills of speaking. So I think one of the messages I was trying to say in my talk was that it's very important for teachers not just to be providing activities in the classroom for the students to speak to each other, but there has to be some kind of teaching of the skills that are needed for good speaking. And those involve things like um, paying attention to the particular kind of grammar of speaking. I mean, often in writing we tend to use very formal language. In speaking you can use more informal language. We also tend to um, talk about things that are not directly in our context, in front of us. So we may refer to things that are uh, out, out of the context or to, to background knowledge that we have. And so I think if, if teachers can help students with those skills, it's quite important. The other thing is if you're having a conversation with somebody, um, it's okay uh, to have he a hesitation or a repetition or a clarification. Everybody does that when they speak to each other in normal speaking uh, situations. So I think teaching students that you don't have to have perfectly correct grammar, perfect fluency, is quite a useful message. It makes them feel less threatened in the classroom also. Yes, yes. I think using the authentic materials like the ones you've been describing, movies, um, you know, listening materials, video, songs even, I think is really good because people can begin to hear the sounds of the language. If you think about how languages are learned, um, the first thing that happens when a child learns a language is that they hear a lot of the sounds. And so I think a lot of listening activities is really, really helpful for students to begin to speak more fluently. Um, so I think combining uh, listening practice um, and teachers giving the students lots of listening practice through things like listening to the movie, trying to understand the main ideas in the movie, not understanding every single word, but getting the, the point or the general idea of the story is really, really useful. And also, then to help them um, move from listening into some speaking activities and that may be let's discuss what the story was in the movie and that's uh, that involves a speaking activity so i think putting those two things together is really really helpful